Hey guys, what's up? Turbo Loco here, and today we are doing the 2014 World Cup game. I know, surprise, surprise. Um, we're doing a Papa New Guinea, uh, a new team that wasn't on the 2010 game. Um, so yeah, there's only like literally like a couple more teams left to go. I think this is the like the second to last team sort of thing. I think there's one more team I want to do um, that aren't on the 2010 game, and then we're gonna resume with that or we can keep playing this one or we'll mix it up you know on the you've got we've got we got three world cup games we can play with so we've got papa new guinea let's just jump straight into it because they are ranked 197th in the world and i'm not looking forward to that at all so we've got the groups here um currently i'm in group g but i don't want to be um in that one because most of the groups as people know if you've got like brazil they will always be in group a it's never there's no draw for some reason which sucks um so i'm going to shuffle the groups for three seconds and i'm going to let go so one two three and then we got uh a group group g we're, we're still in group g um but it is shuffled around a lot more so with the sh uh the seychelles bulgaria and zimbabwe that looks a bit more promising okay so we are ranked 197th in the world let's see if we can actually get out of this group okay it's Papua New Guinea versus the Seychelles both of these teams haven't been in a World Cup ever ever but I like these two nations you know I like the Seychelles it's a very very beautiful place and so is Papua New Guinea as well so we're gonna have a good time with this hopefully it's gonna be a very even game I think as well Oh, Seychelles goalkeeper struggling with that tiny little um, shot there. Oh, okay. Well, we got a bit of action. And uh, imagine if these two sides actually reached the World Cup and, um, you know, dueled it out on the international stage. That would be a pretty... Um, I would watch that match, definitely. I think a lot of people would. I'm worried about... Um, who is it? Bulgaria? Is it Bulgaria we got? Bulgaria are going to be a big test. Oh, my God. No. Ref, that's a foul. Come on. Oh, why did you pass it to him? We keep stealing the ball off the Seychelles, but they're being very, very stingy at the back. This guy, the Henneret guy, or whatever his name is, this guy with the ponytail, he seems to be shutting out a lot of chances. Alright, so it's half time. I knew that was going to happen. And it's a nil nil draw. I thought it was going to be a little bit more exciting than this. I don't think both teams know how to attack. So we're just going to get probably a drab. Uh, game, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I've had a couple of chances, like, at the start. How, like, recently I've done quite a lot of nations that are next to each other. Obviously, like, Indonesia, um, Papua New Guinea, uh, and Timor Leste as well. Right next to each other, basically, as well. It's like, that's not, that's not by on purpose either. It's just by accident. No, see, that guy with the ponytail always, like, gets me. He always gets this. Uh, like I said in so many previous videos, there's always one guy that, like, goes full beast mode. There's never any of my players against the Seychelles. Struggling against the Seychelles here. Oh, that's offside. That would have been a good, like, chance. I think it was... That was... That wasn't... Oh, come on. That was barely... Barely on on side offside even. Nobody's moving. Nobody's making those moves. And what a that, so I predicted at the start of the game a really good like high scoring game, but the Seychelles drained the life out of that game. They just didn't do anything, uh, and apart uh, partly because of me as well, I couldn't score. But oh my good lord, like how on earth can the Seychelles like do that? Ugh. We gotta play Bulgaria probably next as well. Okay then. Second match against Bulgaria. The biggest test of this group stage for sure. Uh not sure how this is gonna go at all because I don't know how good Bulgaria are, but like uh, Papua New Guinea, oh my god, like I, I just don't get how they didn't beat the Seychelles. Like uh right, here we go. Javari. He still got it. That's a foul, right? Oh, hang on, that's a late penalty. He got up and crossed the ball in, and the ref's like, hang on, that's penalty. So like, what? Surely, unless I did... I didn't hear the whistle, obviously, because I've got everything muted. All right, okay. Jack, can you do it? Yes, he can. It's 1-0 to Papua New Guinea. One absolute bunch of legends. Yes, come on. 
and Bulgaria just don't know what they're doing. This could be a shocker. I mean, like, that penalty came out of nowhere. I don't know what the goalkeeper was doing there. That was pretty bad positioning from the penalty. But, yeah, it's uh, Jack with the penalty, and we're 1-0 up against Bulgaria. Okay, well, if he can continue running, maybe I might have had a better... Ooh, okay, he did a kepper there. He did an absolute kepper. Instead, I didn't have Mane on the ball to, like, literally, like, you know, tap it in. All right, all right, all right. Let's just calm down a little bit. It's half time. Um, it's, we're one nil up. I'm kind of getting a little bit nervous now because if we actually beat this team. We have a very, very good chance of going through, um, and the form will go up as well. And that's what I want. Uh, you need a lucky win to get the form up of these teams, and they are on form at the moment. Oh yes, that's kind of good. Oh my god, Papua New Guinea, so close! Oh my god! Look at that, just shaved the post! Oh yes, that's brilliant, but it's just a little bit off. Maybe we can just get it into the middle and shoot! Go on, go on, go on, go on! Yes, 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 yes! Komeng with the goal, it's 2 0 to Papua New Guinea! What a bunch of legends! And the fans are going wild because we have a very, very good chance of going through. This was so lucky. Shot, goalkeeper went the wrong way and it still went in. Brilliant stuff there from Papua New Guinea. That's what we need. We need that sort of stuff. Right, we're on to a good victory here. Um, the form is going to be insane if we beat Bulgaria. Like, it actually will help us against Zimbabwe. Okay, okay. We have no defenders. Back. Uh, no, 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 good save. No, uh, why did you not pick that up? Damn it, man, we can't have this. Oh, the Bulgarians now getting back into it like that. That pass across the box just was absolutely lethal for us. There was no defenders really there. There was only like two. Now Bulgaria are going to be super aggressive. Like, they're going to try and push for that fucking victory. See, no time. No time on the ball whatsoever. They're just so, like, oh, you better not. Oh, that was pretty decent, that block. What are they doing? Do they want to lose, or are they just trying to... No! No, 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 no! Oh, my God! No! Oh, my God! Bulgaria, what the fuck? Oh, my days! They literally were fucking around with it in their area for so long I couldn't do anything about it. Pings it. All the where's my defense? Look at them! Look look where they are! There's no there's none! There's only those two guys right there covering those two men. Where is everybody else? At the top of the pitch. Like, oh my god. Over the top. Nobody near Papua New Guinea, like um, Bulgaria. Bulgaria just ran through and slid it, slid it in. Like, why is this game like this? I can't believe I bottled a 2 0 lead against Bulgaria. And then, so I've only got two points. I mean, okay, will this affect my form in a negative way? Because it's still a draw, but oh my god. Here it is then Papua New Guinea versus Zimbabwe. And to be fair, getting two points in Papua New Guinea isn't that bad, but I, 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 oh my god, I just can't believe the way I threw that game away. No, that was a good move. The shadow of the stadium is really annoying in some Zimbabwe's bit. Like, the shadow of the stadium, like, what the hell is that all about? I can barely see what's going on in there, and the ball is white as well. So how on earth, how is that outside? How is that outside, referee? How is that outside? Can we have a look? Look, bang on! Look, it's bang on! Like, what is that? Right, come on. Yes, that went in! Yes, come on! That's Jack again. The absolute beast, that is Jack. <laughs> I don't know what that celebration's all about. Oh, that's a weird celebration to put in the game, right? <laughs> okay, Papua New Guinea are loving it because we're about to go through. A little bit lucky, to be fair, because I thought I was going to get closed down, so I thought I had the shot. Goalkeeper didn't even, like, basically get it, to be fair. Right, okay, so 1-0 up against Zimbabwe. 
I just don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Like, I, 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 just, I just don't know. I just don't know. But, yeah, we're 1-0 up against uh, Zimbabwe. Like, those set of shots at the end were so bad. Like, I just don't get it. Like, okay, Seychelles are drawing against Bulgaria. Okay, that's a little bit um, more promising for me because I could finish top of the group. But this guy didn't want to run. Okay, that's good. That's good. Shoot that. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. 2 0 up against Zimbabwe. Okay. Absolute legends. Zimbabwe don't know what's going on. They had the chance to go through for the first time. But there we go. That mistake. That was a good shot, to be fair. Remember, we were 2 up before the referee. Like, what the hell? I just got screamed by the referee. Like, are we playing NHL right now? Like, oh my god. Like, there's no way, right? Uh, what, where the fuck is that going? Oh my god. Like, they almost scored from it. They almost scored directly from that referee blocking me. Like, that would... That... That... If that happened, that would have been, like... Like, what? Like, twice in... Well, three times, actually, in two days. We're doing well, we're doing well. I'm just worried about Zimbabwe actually doing something against me. Because Bulgaria did it in the 80th minute and then the, the 90th minute. Like, I can't believe I bottled that. Can we not have this? Please, game. I can't see in my, that half. That half of the stadium, please. Knock it down so I can actually see. I can't actually, like, do anything here. Like, Zimbabwe... Stop. Alright. So the capture device crashed um, at the end of the Zimbabwe game, which is fine. I don't mind that. Uh, at least it didn't wipe out the uh, thing. But um, we're against Paraguay, basically, in the round 16. That's what I wanted to update you on. Uh, most notably, I was going to say, well, I was recording it, but China beat someone, um, Spain, 5-4 on penalties in the round of 16 as well. That's the most notable result. Okay, let's go. Round of 16 time, it is Papua New Guinea versus Paraguay. Let's go. Um, I like the, the, the sunset. It's looking good on the stadium. It's, it's looking nice. I wish it was a more open stadium so you can see behind it, but it seems to be the same bloody stadium every time we play, right? It, uh, it honestly does. At least a South Africa game, you've got the variety of stadiums. Um, just a side note, I really like Paraguay's kit. That's a really nice kit. It's going to be hard to break down this Paraguay defence, I think. No, oh, my goodness. Paraguay seem well. Obviously, they're good. They're, they're good side, but way better than Papua New Guinea. I don't know why you didn't get that. <sighs> round of sixteen seems to be the round that always has me. Maybe we can get lucky on pens. Maybe I don't actually want to get get up. Oh my god! Why? What are you doing? Off the pitch, of course. Off the pitch. Like, there's no substance to the passing on this game. If I used a bigger team, I still would struggle. Because, like, at the end of the day, you can't pass. Like, it just keeps picking. The ball has really bad physics on this game. Look, look, they just fouled me outright. Yeah, thank you, referee. Thank you. So annoying. Right, let's see if we can try and bend it in. Muta. Oh my god, 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 I just bent in a free kick with Papua New Guinea. What the fuck? That's amazing, and the Paraguay fans can't believe it just before half time. Papua New Guinea bend in the best. I've never scored a free kick on this game ever, and I just did it just out of the blue. Come on. Like, he didn't have a chance. Look, he just, like, went, boop, over the wall, bang, straight in. Yeah. Foul again? Yes. And that's got to be... Oh, we're going to do this again. If we do it again, man. It's Muto again. Nah, not quite. It was a little bit too far out, and it wasn't in the right position as well. But, yeah, there we go. Half time. And it is 1-0 to Papua New Guinea. We're having this. We're having this match. Like... We're not going to fail, right? Surely not. After scoring a free kick like that, no chance. Who is this guy? Seriously. No. 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 Santa Cruz. Oh, really? Santa Cruz is still playing? 
this time he must have been old, man. He must have been old. It's really hard to get the players to run for on goal because you will get tackled immediately. Even though I literally went past him, I literally went past him, the game couldn't help itself just to tackle me again. It just couldn't help it. The AI is re unrelenting on this game. Run! No, the, the bold centre back. God damn. Get up, get up, get up, get up! You were right there! Get the fuck up! Oh my god! No, don't let it. Oh no, just fuck off. Why would you even backheel to the. Why would you backheel it in that situation? Why the fuck would you backheel it in that situation? Why? Look at this. Look at this, people. Honestly. That cross came in. Everybody missed it. He's like, oh, I'll just back heel it. Why the fuck would you do that? Oh, my God. It's just it's just one of those things, isn't it? Where, where I lose a whole tournament thanks to stupidity by, um, like, you know, a fucking idiot on the team. Of course you would. That ends the game right there, that does. They were literally... Fucking insufferable. That bold defender they had on that team. My goodness, was he just closing me down constantly. I mean, fair play to pa um, Papua New Guinea for getting this far. Like, I think I did all right. Especially scoring that free kick. Uh, I'm going to do this with a bigger team and uh, one day and see if I can actually do a better job. I mean, I know Papua New Guinea are like, you know, shit. Like, like in terms of world football thing. But, like, come on. Like, please. <laughs> I, was, I was controlling them. And I did all right. <laughs> anyway, this has been Tobaloko. I hope you have enjoyed, yet again, another suffering on the 2014 World Cup game. We have one more nation that isn't on the South Africa game. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you again for the next video.